Welcome to Göttingen. Göttingen is a university city whose population consists of 20% students. The city is greatly influenced by the young population. But why doesn't the city help foster this lively environment on the university's campuses? We want to make campuses greener and more sustainable. The transformation to a green campus can not only profit the mental and physical health of our students and university staff, but additionally, it can provide shade and cooling and even reduce the building's energy consumption, which is all the more important in view of global warming. In Göttingen, around 25,000 students learn, work and spend a significant part of their daily lives on our campuses. Because of the close proximity to the city center, the campus even serves as a meeting place for young people to get together and spend time with their peers outside of the university context. Our campuses unmistakably lack color and liveliness, which is a strong contrast to the young and fresh minds of all the people on these campuses. As students, we sit inside a lot to study and attend lectures. But when we do get to go outside for lunch or a small coffee break, we are surrounded by even more concrete, where there could instead be green spaces. Our goal with Grüniversity is to bring the campus's landscape and the spirit of the students together in harmony. This is an example of an area on our central campus that already has some of the characteristics which we want to incorporate more. It is a favorite among students to spend their breaks or to study outside. This shows that in some cases the university is already going in the right direction, but we demand to see more of that. Sonst glaube ich mit diesem ganzen Beton hier auch noch ziemlich kahl aus. Also vielleicht könnte man da freundlichere Gewächse dazu stellen und auch noch irgendwie mehr Lerngelegenheiten äh, draußen schaffen. Ich fände es cool, wenn die Wiesen, die wir haben, besser genutzt werden würden. Also durch zum Beispiel mehr Sitzplätze für Studierende und auch die Wiesen, die irgendwie davor geschützt werden, weiter zugebaut zu werden. Ich verstehe die Größe und die Funktion von Plaster Göttinger 7 nicht. Also es ist ja so eine riesen Pflasterfläche. Und man auch ein bisschen irgendwie Grünflächen oder so hinbauen. So ist es ja einfach versiegelt. But how can universities initiate transformation on their campuses and how do they identify what needs to change? In response to the Universities for Goal 13 competition, we, Helen, Sophie and Vivian, developed a comprehensive solution for transforming the campus environment to promote health, sustainability, biodiversity, energy security and a shared sense of belonging. That's how Grüniversity was born. To realize this vision, we have created a toolkit which includes an interactive map and a website. The Grüniversity website serves as the central hub for sharing ideas and networking among universities. It provides a platform for connecting with other institutions, discussing funding opportunities and fostering collaboration throughout the process. Because students and university staff spend a large part of their time at the university, they naturally develop ideas on how the spaces could be improved upon. Incorporating these ideas into the transformation process is a great opportunity for the university. If a university like the University of Göttingen wishes to start transforming its campus, the initial step is to launch a new project on the Grüniversity website. Now citizens, students and university staff can explore their campus and mark suitable areas on an interactive map. The next step involves analyzing these areas through citizen science. Everyone can contribute their knowledge and interests. Based on this data, areas will be selected for transformation, either by a university committee of volunteers or the Green Office. Imagine the Göttingen 7 Square, a place at our central campus that is predominantly covered in concrete, is selected for transformation. Now everyone is invited to share suggestions for the Göttingen 7 Square on the Grüniversity website. Through a voting system, participants express their approval or disapproval of ideas and the university committee assesses their feasibility before selecting a final concept. Subsequent steps include securing funding, which can be achieved through crowdfunding, corporate partnerships or institutional support. It is crucial at this stage to develop a detailed time and financial plan. Following this, specialized partners with expertise in the implementation process need to be engaged. And finally, it's time for action. This is the most exciting phase, where all ideas and plans come to life, transforming the once drab gutting in seven square into... Ta-da! A harmonious space where nature and humanity coexist. One of the last steps involves evaluating the transformation's impact, including mapping the biodiversity and natural habitats and seeking feedback from citizens and students. As you can see, it does not take much to make a great transformation if we are all working together and sharing our ideas and knowledge. Grüne University aims to reduce barriers so that we can use the potential of all the smart minds at our universities to create more sustainable campuses all over the world.